hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i decided to show you guys this look this look is basically like one of my normal looks i'm sure people that don't like the fact that like, i hate the fact that i don't use eyeshadow and all those stuff I already know that this look is my almost every single day look but this one is different i actually tried the foundation powder before foundation routine i saw a bunch of youtubers doing this i decided to do try myself so i actually did my eyebrow off camera i put on primer i applied primer and i did a little bit of color correcting off camera so i just have to jump right into this one so right now i'm using my press powder my maybelline clear and smooth powder in the shade caramel you guys can check the description box for that so i just like took like a lot of it i actually did dip my brush into the powder so i can actually set the concealer color corrector that is already on my face and also you know my primer i actually did apply a lot a whole lot even if it doesn't look as if i did this brush i'm using is actually one cherry berry brush too but it gets the job done like it's amazing the base the brush is so soft see how tiny it is like a toy brush <laughs> so that's basically what i'm saying I'm, i applied the foundation the powder all over my face on my eyelid my forehead everywhere just to you know arrange the face for the look you can use any pressed powder you have at home as long as it's your color you can actually use benai banana powder for this because you're gonna definitely apply your foundation your skin tone on the powder sorry i think i was saying email to something i was listening to fifth service when i was filming this so you can actually use benai banana powder on your face to start the process then because your concealer your foundation is definitely going to be your skin tone the color of your skin tone so definitely it's going to cover the fact that you're using a brighter shade of loose powder but i'd advise that you use pressed powder instead of loose powder because pressed powder has a way of you know actually reducing shine the shine on your face and all that but if you want to use press your loose powder is also powder device to use a press powder so next is for me to apply my foundation i'm using a flat staple brush for that um the foundation i'm using is actually from black up cosmetics i'm gonna show you also the I'll, st I'll leave a list of all the products that I use below in the description box so be sure to check the description box so I just take a reasonable amount not excess and I apply it on my face using parting motions when I start I usually use the whole parting motion thing just to <clears throat> sorry, excuse me get the foundation on my face and um, this way you get full coverage you get full coverage really. but this foundation I'm using actually a matte foundation so either way it's gonna give me full coverage so I use parting motion to apply it I pass it into my face you know, to apply the foundation on my face. But after I must have finished using this particular using this particular method, next thing I do is actually do blend it right into my skin, just so to give me you know the flawless look. Wink. So after I must have finished applying my foundation, I jump right into the next step, which is highlighting. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade form. I'm gonna just apply um, a reasonable amount on my face and blend it out with my it's my beauty blender. I use this is a small beauty blender I'm using, actually quite soft, and it it's just also amazing for blending in concealer sorry it was getting blurry my camera was just giving me attitude more like the autofocus on the camera was giving me serious attitude serious attitude so sorry for that i have a highlighting and contouring video i'm gonna link it up in the cards there so you can go check it out so i'm not doing anything differently it's just i contour and highlight the exact same with every other day sorry autofocus was messing with me 
so after blending in the concealer the next thing i do is i go and start contouring my face i don't really like using cream to contour concealer to contour so i just use my powder to contour so the powder i use to contour is maybelline clear and smooth in the shade cacao i prefer to contour with um powder i don't really like contouring with cream so the powder i'm using is maybelline i don't really like contouring with bronzer I prefer to contour with powder, I think it gives it a more natural look. So I'm using Maybelline Clear and Smooth in the shade Cacao. And I'm um, also a, an angle brush for, for the face. This one is actually small as well. <laughs> so the next step is for me to bake my face. I'm baking today with this Sacha Buttercup loose powder. Powder. I actually just got this in like last month and I'm loving it. So I'm gonna bake with the Sacha Buttercup powder. So I just took like a little bit, you know, to apply it. To just use, I want to use it to set my under eye, my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, like set, like actually bake, right? below the line the contour line where i did my contour my face so i just apply all over my face on my eye my forehead i basically apply this in like all over my face i don't know why i just prefer to apply it all over my face because i think i have a way i blend it all out so my face doesn't really look white i think so that's basically what i'm doing here i'm gonna apply all over my face my bridge of my nose my under eye my eyelid my forehead all that place where i know i'm I actually shine from literally shine so the next night I actually applied my kajal on my waterline off camera so next thing I do is dust off the Sacha Buttercup setting powder with my free my press powder my two in one black up two in one press powder. Like I said, check the description box. I'll link. I'll put, give you a list of the products I use. I think I'm sound like a broken record of a sudden because I've said this like four times. So I'm basically going to dust off my um the found the Sacha Buttercup and also use apply powder all over my face too tied the look together i had to clean so it's from my face because it was messing me up i applied my waterline and uh, water black kajal on my waterline off camera and also did high i highlight off camera as well so i'm just gonna use like i said a reasonable amount to dust everything off my face So the highlight I use is actually an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So I'm using the brown one, yeah, that one down there, to highlight. I already used the gold color one. I'll, I keep forgetting the names. <laughs> Check the description box. So I just tried to highlight, highlight some more. So I'm just gonna apply all over that place where I need the sun to hit, where I want it to be obvious. Again, my camera was messing me up and get got blurry again. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. So because I don't apply, I don't use falsies, um, the next step I go, I do is mascara. This mascara is from Moon Life. It's actually my friend's, my friend Obi's um, makeup company. So the mascara I'm using is from Moon Life. It's black. I'm just going to apply a little more a little on my lashes. <laughs> Sorry. Just try, I co I make sure I really go in there and get those tiny hair that's too stubborn because I don't do lash, fix lashes. So. I just rather use my mascara to make my lashes appear long, you know, I'll take what I get. So 
so i actually completed the look off camera so you guys i couldn't do the whole lip stick like the process, show you guys the process i used to apply how i apply lip liner and all that because i think i already have a video of me doing all that but if you guys want a different video me showing you guys how i apply the products um be sure to comment below well that's the look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys found it very helpful for me to do other makeup tutorials that are like simple because you guys know me i don't always wear makeup and i don't really like heavy makeup on my face so i don't really i didn't really apply so much foundation on my face i'm sure you guys already saw all that in the if you guys found this tutorial very helpful be sure to check the description box below because below in the description box I, i'm gonna put a list of the products that i use and like i always say I, it's not by the product that you use it's about how you, you don't need to use the exact same brands that i used before you can achieve the look you can actually use whatever you have at home and actually get the same look thank you all so much for what simon actually just came out the cameraman this whole cut cameraman thank you all so much for watching this video subscribe if you haven't already show the video some love if you can if we can get this video to a hundred red thumbs up I will do another makeup tutorial. I will try and do eyeshadow on my eyes. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment if you have something nice to say. And check the description box for all my details. All my details and the camera I'm using. Everything. Bye.